Good morning. I'm here in my little kitchen and I'm going to make myself uh, some scrambled eggs with it looks like onions, green pepper, and tomato because it's almost 1130 and this will be my first meal of the day. So let's get cracking. say much this morning because I can't think of a darn thing to say. I prefer to use my Rada knife for um, cutting things like this. This and tomatoes, I like to use my Rada um, tomato knife. It just works so much better. And I have this leftover from that vegetable soup I made. I got a lot of leftovers sitting in my fridge and I don't know if they're any good because I can't smell them. So I think I'm going to take my lamb over to Michael's and have them smell it and see if it's still edible. I'm sure he'd like to eat it. He loves me. And I'm just sick of it. <clears throat> I just get sick of things so quickly, which makes it really hard to, uh, it makes it very hard to know what to cook. Um, I've got a freezer full of food I've made and just got sick of so fast. I gotta wash my tomatoes. That one's a little squishy. Sometimes I think still about a little cottage somewhere. That was one of the reasons <clears throat> I wanted to live a van life for a while is because I wanted to uh, see what was out there, you know. And But the problem is, is prices have gone so high. I have to wipe off the handle on my <laughs> selfie stick. I uh, got tomato all over it. I still think about my own little place the main reasons are the hallway here is so long that uh, it's really hard on me. It's hard on me with grocery shopping, with laundry. I would like to just be able to step out my front door sometimes, you know, and, um, and have my own yard. I still dream of that. But don't get me wrong, I am enjoying the ease and the no stress of living in these apartments. There's no stress. The only stress, of course, is the physical stress, and I'm dealing with it. I think one of the things I'm going to have to do, there's just no ifs, ands, and buts about it, um, I am going to have to uh, get the Walmart delivery service. I, I just, I hurt myself yesterday doing... Um, two loads on the cart. First of all, I had to do all the shopping, and that took me forever because of my uh, my, my back and hip. And uh, then I, I got the stuff here, and it was two trips back and forth, and then a third trip to park the vehicle and then come back again, and it's, it's just too much. So uh, let's cook these, and we'll talk about this more of this later. We gotta, I want to soften that up a bit. Never did dishwashing for you. Here we go. I added a little water to my Ajax lemon soap because uh, it was getting toward the end and I find it just soaks up so much nicer if I add a little bit of water to it. Plus I get a little extra um, 
you know, value for my buck so I can spend the rest of my money going shopping. <laughs> I'm just taunting, I'm sorry. So yeah. So I'm kind of come to the end of my decorating on my apartment. I, I have to stop because I have, um, a, most of it's on credit cards. And uh, I planned it out so that when I knew uh, my extra money was what went into paying those cards monthly, and I don't pay the minimum, I pay more. I like to uh, get paid off as quickly as possible. So I, I try to put chunks on each and every card. And when I get the smallest one paid down, then I throw that chunk on top of the next one, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm almost done with a firm. I have one last $77 payment, and then that will go on my, then I will start to pay off my Amazon store card with that one. And then the last one I'll be attacking is my Visa with US Bank. And uh, yeah, and then when I finish that, I, I still need in my living room um, another small chair, an ottoman, and I hope my brother John is going to get me my paintings. He's a, vet, a serious procrastinator, busy guy, and I'm going to send him an email tomorrow and say, hey, <laughs> have, are you going to send those out? My wall is naked and cold and sad. So yeah, it does look naked, cold and sad. So at least I'll have that done. And then, um, so the, after I get all my cards paid off, the next thing I really seriously need to do is buy a decent bed. Now that I know I'm staying and I like it here and I have no problems, um, except for the long distance to the door, I, I could always get a little scooter if I cannot get this um, hip and leg thing, uh, what do you call it, taken care of. I, I really, one of the biggest reasons I want to be here in this apartment is to work on my health. If I could work on my health and get myself back into a good moving and living situation, the second thing I want to work on is developing a small business so that this isn't the end of my story. I would like to believe that this is not the end of my story. Button. This is starting to smell so darn good. Everybody has hopes and dreams, you know? My dream was always to have a little cottage up in the mountains somewhere. And so I will start watching certain um, states that I would like to try living in. And someday, when my credit's all fixed, that'll be in about three more years. Um, and I'm sure prices will be down by then. I'm just looking at, uh, you know, possibilities places I might want to live. Do I want this? Because while, well, you know, I, I really do like, um, I love this apartment. I love being close to my children. I, I know they already have plans to leave here now that his business, Mikey, Denny, and Maggie's business are doing so well. Nobody really wants to be in Florida. They miss the hiking and the the lakes and rivers and the things that they could do elsewhere. So we're all mountain people, you know, that's really where we all want to live, etc. But I might not want to live in the same place they want. I don't know. That's why I'm going to just start working on my health. That's number one and uh, most important. Because without your health, it's really hard to do anything else. And if I cannot regain my health, I'm going to have to stay. That's just, I'm not going to burden my children with my health problems. If they leave, I'll have to stay. And if I can't, get better. And the other thing is, is income. I mean, here with 960, I have $400 left every month to do something with. That's after my food and my bills. And uh, that is big. 
and as I age, if, I, if I'm aging poorly, and I, I seem to be aging poorly, hmm, what do you think? Tomatoes now? I don't have any cheese. It's extra calories, and I just don't need that while I'm trying to lose weight. Maybe someday when I need to maintain my protein and stuff. But right now, no cheese. Oh, that one's a little too big, but I don't care. I like to bite into something hearty anyway. There. Next, we'll be adding eggs as soon as um, that's uh, ready to go. All right, ready for the eggs, I do believe. One last swoosh. two meals a day now and one snack at the end of the night if I'm hungry. If I'm not hungry at the end of the night, I won't do the snack. But generally, I always want a little something before bed. Oh, come on, Mabel. What are you going over there for? Yeah, you know, this is nothing special. I do this all the time. I used to add potatoes to something like this, but I got to watch my calories and starch so it's just going to be eggs, onions, peppers and tomatoes and that's good enough. I hate when the egg browns. I try so hard for it not to brown. I'm shutting my heat down now because it's enough to finish this off. Make sure all the egg gets cooked. You know, I don't want some little stray raw eggs hanging around. Now I know I can't eat all this in one sitting, so this is probably going to be my bedtime snack. It's going to be my lunch, brunch, whatever you want to call this time of day, 11.30 when I first eat. And then, um, and then yeah, I'll have extra for tonight for my snack at bedtime. And it won't be a heavy snack because it's just protein and vegetables, right? Okay, well, that's my story and my eggs, and now have more mess, and I'm sticking to it. Bye.